First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. So if you've thought the last couple of months have been quite mild, you would be right. Check out where this winter, meteorological winter, December through the end of February, ranks. When you look at the warmest winters in the Burlington area at the climate site, which has 133 years of records, this winter is ranked number five. Last winter obviously was first warmest. And when you look in the last five years, you have three winters. Last winter, number one, 2011, 2012 is at number three. And this winter so far is at number five, but it's so mild for the final week of February. I would not be surprised if this winter sneaks into the number four spot. So three of the warmest winters in Burlington have occurred in the last five years. That is remarkable. It's 20 right now at the airport. We're bound for the middle 40s today. So more than 10 degrees above average. We do have some clouds over northern New York and northern Vermont as warmer air pushes into the region. Oftentimes you get thin clouds higher up and that's indeed what we have right now. But the warmer air is moving in from southwest to northeast. So these clouds are going to be out of here soon and we'll have a very nice Saturday, a fantastic ski day with all the fresh snow that we've had of late. It's eight in St. Jay right now, 12 in Montpelier, 11 in Lebanon, 15 in Saranac Neck Lake, but look at that. The first sign of some warmer air moving in. It's 24 in Messina where uh, there's some more clouds that the clouds were there overnight. The actual surface front is based in Pennsylvania right over State College. Mild air, really mild air back behind it, and that's what moves in here for today, for tomorrow, and really for the foreseeable future, with only a few exceptions. It's 48 right now in Pittsburgh and Chicago, 46 in Indy very mild for this time of day in February. We're calling for a high of 44 in Burlington. Lots of sunshine again, perhaps not initially as that cloud cover moves out, but very mild and then more clouds later in the day with the sunset of 526 in the evening. So those clouds move out in association with the warmer air moving in a lot of sunshine throughout the day today. A few clouds blending in. We will see some more clouds overnight as a cold front moves through. That'll shift the wind to the northwest, so there will be some mountains snow showers during the day tomorrow. So both days, great ski days today though, is the day with the blue sky. Above average is the call for next week, the entire week in the entire eastern half of the country. What does that mean for us? Mid 40s for much of the time. Now on Monday, President's Day will be around freezing. Believe it or not, that's the average high. So there's one day in the next seven. That's average. Every other day is well above more than 10 degrees above. In some instances, we could touch 50 late next week if everything aligns just right. So President's Day, nice but colder than the weekend. A lot of sunshine on Tuesday, a couple of rain showers early on Wednesday, and the mild air just sticks around for the foreseeable future into Thursday and Friday. So the last week of February looks more like March than it does February. That's my latest first alert forecast. Make it a wonderful weekend. Keel back over to you.